We've talked before about how Dark Souls 2 bosses often take the form of reflections on identity. Mitha, the Flexile Sentry, the Duke's Dear Fire, and Scorpion's Nashka, for example, all present designs that have physical splits in them, multiple faces or split identities. The Looking Glass Knight is possibly the apotheosis of this, presenting you not only with a literal mirror that spawns player-like NPCs as it reflects you, but its design is also festooned with faces. It has a face on the front of its helmet, on the back of the head, and faces on each of the shoulders. No matter what direction you approach the knight, it is always looking back at you. It of course also symbolizes that it is a sentry, impossible to surprise from any direction, which is the other part of the design. It guards the path that King Vendrick took to flee the castle when he realized how far he had fallen, which again, the mirror. Vendrick looked at himself and didn't like what he had become, and the knight wears a crown of thorns, a potent symbol of penitence and martyrdom. It's all extremely Catholic, although I don't think Dark Souls 2 is. It's less about Christianity and more about sin. Subscribe here for shorts to see my detailed analysis of this character over on my main channel.